It felt almost like getaway music, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> After you've just robbed a bank. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I, I was watching that film, Machete. Right. Something I do this quite a lot sometimes. I'll put on a colourful film, shall we say, and mute it. This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. I've been experimenting with this bass sound where I would be able to create harmonies from my bass. Normally, I'm it's kind of the root. It's this an octave of the same sound, essentially. So um, I had this idea about having a fifth and a major third, which is what I ended up doing on here as well as the root note. Because when you play a guitar, if you're playing like a like a power chord or a bar chord, obviously you've got the root and you've got all these other kind of harmonies, but I've, I was interested to see if I could make something that sort of did that. Um, right. And it ended up sounding like just really interesting. It sounded really almost synthy, I'll show you. And how are you achieving that then? So I'm using um, a pedal that does that. So it's, yeah, it's sort of building the layers and, and having a major chord suddenly. Because normally, normally when I'm playing and writing songs, it's my vocal or the harmony that informs you of what the chord might be. Even though I'm not actually playing any chords, I'm just suggesting <laughs> a chord. Whereas in this, it was like the first time I was able to just straight up um, sort of hand that information over. And what, what pedal is helping you do that? I can't tell you, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sworn to secrecy. Secret. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. It doesn't matter, though. Yeah. The point is that it kind of, that's what it does. It, it yeah. allows me to kind of play those harmonies. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you've got to keep some class. You have to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's this lead sound in the chorus like a clavinet sound that's i think i'm putting it through a devil lock and a chorus and, a, and basically just sort of destroying the integrity of the clav sound um and i was writing this in a tiny little new york apartment and all i had was the laptop and a few pedals and this tiny little midi keyboard that was on my lap and um yeah this this is all from the demo, so this is the sound. Yeah, super weird. Yeah, it sounds so big, though, and it also sounds so like a guitar. Yeah, it's got that guitar-like quality to it. Um, so I think those were like the three things that really got me excited about the track. So, so in effect, in what you've been telling us about the process so far is that, you know, you're working on songs, both individually and together, um, but and at the same time working on the sound of those songs, coming together to overlook it at, on Pro Tools at your studio in Sussex, and then maybe you would wait until the whole song is shaped before you Absolutely, think of yeah. booking rack and going there. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is probably the most organised we've ever been in terms of... There was no, by the time we were going to record drums and everything, it really felt like there was no writing to be done. Mm, yeah. I think for us, we found that really important because writing and producing and recording, it suddenly divides up your mental power a bit. And it just means when we're tracking, we can really just focus on the, the feel of the takes and, the, and concentrate on, on the sounds rather than questioning the song or the lyrics. Or, yeah. Um, and it honestly, it made the process really much more enjoyable compared to other records um that's also I, I find sometimes you find you find yourself trying to produce your way out of a problem instead of write your way out of one um and i kind of learned that the hard way so yeah yeah really interesting so i mean in terms of triggers progression 
This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you are going to love Tape It. It is the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's cloud sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. But that's not all. Tape It has the option to upgrade to using two microphones on your iPhone, along with gentler dynamic compression to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a special offer of a whole month of this high-quality recording for free. Just head to tape.it forward slash tape notes to try it for yourself and see what a difference it makes. So I think um, the verse of the track is probably the next thing I pursued. I, I was fairly like convinced that I had a good kind of foundation for a chorus. Um, and the verse, I, it, something about, um, it felt almost like getaway music, if that makes any sense. <laughs> After you've just robbed a bank. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I, I was watching that film, Machete. Right. Something I do this quite a lot sometimes. I'll, put on a colourful film, shall we say, and mute it and just kind of um, work to the image that I'm seeing. Right. I find it really useful sometimes. It gives me a bit of direction. Yeah. And it kind of took me to this. This is the riff I kind of put over. Yeah, that's that was kind of my response to watching the TV. And then the next step, I mean, every song's different, honestly, mm. but in this song's case, it's about getting in a room together and playing and working on an arrangement. And once we feel satisfied that we've got a, a decent song, you know, with, with good melodies and good lyrics, it's almost like we can start having fun at that point and start putting in... I think it was Freddie Mercury that said something along the lines of let's get like, if you get the fundamentals right, then you can start putting in all the clever bits, you know? It's all those flares and those things where we pull the rug and, and either kind of syncopate something or join in on something and just putting in those things. And that can take a while. That can take, honestly, just it's just about playing it out. Mm. Sometimes we'll notice things don't feel going from one section to another or certain things we recorded or in the demo that they don't feel fun. They don't feel natural to play. Um, there might be something in the loop we made on the drums or Ben will be like, you know what, this pattern's really annoying me. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right anymore. And we're kind of self edit in that way. So by the time we're tracking, we've, um, we sort of lived them out. Cause I think there's a danger sometimes of, just focusing on the studio and the studio and then and then going to the live thing and and, and yeah and it can lose that natural feeling yeah you've showed us the kind of core elements that you've been working on um so how evolved was it by the time you got back and started playing physically with with ben in the same room i think i revisited it and then made a pretty complete demo of probably what you hear now Right. Minus the drums, yeah. Right. I think sometimes as well, like doing it like this, it um we'll go through an exercise of can we beat some of the sounds in the demo? Right. You know? It kind of gives a benchmark for some of the some of the guitar sounds. Yeah. Usually the answer is no, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> for for many of the reasons that you've outlined yeah. already. No. When I'm making sounds or guitar sounds or even doing vocals, there's a mentality of it because I I'm like it's a demo. I just off there's a there's an attitude in, in everything that I think is better and it's so hard to fake especially when creating sounds as well I, I think when I just make a sound in five seconds it's cooler than anything I'll do if spending hours on it yeah that kind of um, limitation on too much time to think um, yeah you, 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 I think you're just using your instincts more 